Greetings and welcome to the Path Station Bracket Assembly Demo Video. Begin by finding the two stick plates and the station rail, and loosely fasten them together by hand using the 10mm nuts provided in the kit. Next, use the rail assembly to measure the appro approximate locations of the stick plates on the plenum. Ensure that the center of the rail is over the center of the cutting surface and then use the provided alcohol wipes to clean the plenum surface where the stick plates will stick. When the surface of the plenum has been appropriately cleaned, remove the protective backing from the stick plates and adhere them to the plenum. Blake is demonstrating this in the video right now. Once the plates uh, are appropriately stuck to the plenum, you'll next remove the rail from the stick plates and uh, press the plates into the plenum to ensure uh, a tight stick. Once you are satisfied with the adhesion of the stick plates, uh, you'll next reattach the rail, but this time you'll use a 10 millimeter nut driver to tightly fasten the rail into position on the plenum. Next, you'll want to locate the camera, the camera bracket, and the two rail carriage sliders. You'll be using the broad-headed hex screws uh, provided in the kit to loosely fasten the rail carriage sliders to the metal camera bracket. Um, you'll want to do this loosely enough that the sliders uh, still pivot and wiggle on the bracket. Um, so that later you'll be able to easily make uh, adjustments when mounting the bracket. Um, and you'll also notice that one of these sliders gets one screw where the other uh, slider, the, sort of the front side slider, gets two uh, screws to hold it to the bracket. You'll next want to fit the camera bracket to the camera as shown here and gently fasten the bracket to the camera using these screws. Uh, careful not to over tighten uh, the screws as they are going uh, directly into plastic. Before mounting the camera to the station rail, you must connect the data cables. The camera receives a gray D-sub USB reset cable, an Ethernet cable, a power cable, and a Type B USB cable. Each cable goes into the appropriate jack located on the back of the camera, as demonstrated here, and shown again here in this picture. So next we'll be mounting the uh, camera to the station rail. Um, Blake is going to make it look pretty easy here. Um, hopefully your carriage sliders are uh, loose enough that they pivot and wiggle a little bit, making it easier to mount that thing. Uh, once it's mounted, you'll want to check and make sure that the, uh, the USB cable coming out of the back of the camera can reach uh, you know, your computer. The other three cables coming out of the back of the camera need to be able to reach wherever you plan to mount 
the control box, which we'll do here in a minute. So, just like the station rail, the uh, control box will be mounted using a stick plate, a rather large one. Um, so you'll want to use a provided alcohol wipe to uh, clean off the area before removing the backing on the stick plate and mounting it. Uh, as with the uh, stick plates for the rail, we suggest allowing the tape to cure for about 15 minutes uh, you know, before proceeding with the installation. So, while we wait for the uh, tape to cure on the uh, control box stick plate, we'll be preparing the, uh, the actual control box to be mounted. Um, so we'll take the power supply for the control box, as shown here, and we'll take a bracket for uh, the power supply, as shown there, and we're going to stick these guys together, as shown here. Uh, the, tight, uh, <laughs> the fit is uh, pretty tight, so you're going you're gonna to want a very get it in there very sort of exactly uh, and once that power supply is in the bracket you'll take it and line up the holes on the bracket with the holes on the top of the control box and fasten it in place using the screws that are provided in the kit When mounting the control box to the control box stick plate, you'll uh, be aligning the holes, like the mounting holes on the control box, to the studs on the control box stick plate, and then fastening them using the 7mm nuts and a 7mm nut driver, um, you know, to the, uh, you know, the sidewall of the plenum there. Before connecting the camera cables to the control box, you're going to want to set the position of the camera. On both of the uh, camera carriage sliders, um, you will find a set screw. Um, and once the camera is in the position that you desire, you'll uh, take a 2 millimeter Allen wrench and uh, simply tighten those set screws uh, in order to lock the camera into position. Um, you know, this should be tight enough that the camera doesn't really move. Next, you'll want to attach the, uh, you know, the rail cap end using the same 2 millimeter uh, hex wrench um, as shown. This will keep you from accidentally dropping the camera if you ever need to adjust it later. So next, we'll be connecting the cable work to the control box. Um, you can see first we're attaching the power supply cable so that the box is powered. Next is the B side of a USB A to B cable. The A side will go to your computer. Um, the power supply for the camera is plugged in next. There's just a, you know, a standard plug on the side, a standard US plug on the side that you can uh, you know, plug that power supply into. Easy peasy. Next is the uh, D sub USB reset cable, uh, the gray cord coming out of the back of the camera. You'll uh, want to engage the locks on, uh, on this cable, both here on the control box and on the back of the camera, just to make sure that the uh, cable doesn't wiggle itself out of position when you're moving cables around or anything like that. And then uh, lastly, but not leastly, we have the uh, Ethernet cable from the back of the camera going to the Ethernet jack in the uh, control box. Um, Here's a better picture of it all for you if uh you know if that helps um, take a look both USB cables 
the one from the uh, control box and the one from the back of the camera are going to be headed to the computer uh, of your system. Um, the rest of the cables, however, will be bundled together. Um, these uh, cable tie clips uh, are provided in uh, our kit and they are adhesive, so definitely use the alcohol and stick them wherever you need to manage the cables. Uh, you know, being sure to sort of keep them out of the way of uh, any sort of like work activity or, or workflow. So that'll do it for uh, you know setting up your uh, station bracket. If you have uh, any questions or comments, feel free to give us uh, give us a holler. Uh, information's on the screen right there. Uh, thank you, and have a wonderful day.